spit on there, don't I? Come on in, everybody. Come on. Come on. So today, I'm going to be talking about Netflix. Uh, who doesn't have Netflix? Anyone, like, actually not subscribed to Netflix? One person. <laughs> One out of a large crowd. So I'm going to be talking about Netflix. Uh, next slide. What do you feel at that? You feel it, you're like, oh, it's Netflix. Well, Netflix really is a technology wolf in, sh in media clothing. It is not a media company. I know that sounds crazy. Netflix is, its advantage is technology. And, and truly, they've released the movie every single week in 2021, every week. Uh, they're spending, I think, 15 billion this year on just content. And really, most importantly, they have never gone down. They've never had slowdowns. And I'm gonna ask the question, Squid Games, first 17 days, how many accounts, not people, but just accounts, actually uh, watch Squid Games? Any, any ideas? Five, 10, a million? 46 million. 200 million, it's close. 150, uh, if you can click the, click the slide. 111 million accounts. That doesn't mean, so if I have an account and you have an account, that's one. Squid Games was so successful in South Korea, they're being sued by an ISP because they were able to push out so much content so fast. The ISP is like, you've just crushed our entire bandwidth. Thank you? No, they're like, hey, you gotta pay us. And, and this is how they did it. Uh, a content delivery network, there's a lot of them out there, like Akamai uh, and others. Uh, basically, Netflix built their own. So when I'm in Australia and I say, I want to watch Squid Games, it's not being served from America or anywhere else. So they have over 17,000 servers worldwide sitting as close to users as possible. Uh, a person from the Electronic F Frontier Foundation said, well, why do they have so much in the US? They said, well, our ISPs aren't very good compared to the world ISPs. So literally, when you click that play button, everything after that, Netflix is custom built. And if we go to the next slide. So what about their competitors? How are they doing? <clears throat> well, di um, I, I apologize to any of the Disney folks out there. So Disney Plus crashed catastrophically day one. Th oh, go back. Next one. Then it crashed again for WandaVision. HBO Max has had, uh, who has Roku and HBO Max? They could probably tell me, anyone out there? It, it had all sorts of problems and issues. Uh, HBO Max is actually HBO Go that they kind of like, cobbled together and said, hey, it's HBO Max, which then they cobbled together to say, hey, we're gonna have a free, not free, we're gonna have a lesser money tier that has ads. So it's cobble, cobble, cobble on their side. Instagram has stories, which are basically streams. It's so bad at Instagram, they say, by the way, uh, we'll tell you when we're, we have outages. And uh, I think everyone saw the, the Coinbase Super Bowl ad, where it catastrophic, they spent like $14 million on that ad. So for $14 million, they got a crash website. And brand, I mean, everyone just knows, hey, it crashed. Should I trust my money in Coinbase? I don't know. Next slide. Technology matters. That's the bottom line. If you click again. That's Netflix revenue. That's, uh, what, five years. Went from 15 to 30 billion in revenue in just five years. Um, They've spent over a billion dollars just on infrastructure, just on, and they don't actually host anything. It's all through AWS, but all the technology behind it, all of the, you know, when you click play, it's all custom built by Netflix. One thing that they did that's really important, they went cash flow positive uh, last year. And so that, so that means they had about $2 billion or so of profit. What did they use it for? Buy more content. So. Uh, that's it in a nutshell for Netflix. Uh, any questions, any, anything anyone wants to know about uh, either the technology or the content side of Netflix? Yep, go ahead. That's a great question. So it's how, how are they using AR or VR, augmented reality or virtual reality? Uh, the answer is not really yet. They're looking at that and they're looking at gaming. That's the other place that they're really focusing on because uh, I'm sure some of you have been in the classes, gaming is a gigantic, I mean, movies are nice, but gaming just crushes it when it comes to revenue. Anyone else? That's it? Oh, one more. Yeah, how does uh, Netflix 
content. How does it acquire content? Uh, pretty much from anybody that will sell it to them. Uh, but uh, I'll just give very quickly, and then, uh, and then I have to get off. I'm getting the, the, the hook. Uh, they buy it fully out. So they say, hey, I'm going to buy your show. I'm going to own all the rights, and I'm going to give you cost plus. So I'm going to give you some cost, and then uh, I'll give you some profit. So for example, Squid Games, the creators didn't become bazillionaires like they would in a network TV show. They got whatever they were contracted to. I think that's my time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm.